Yeah. Hello you plonkers and welcome back to another weekly vlog. Say hello Toby. I got this big wolf head here with me today. His name's Toby and basically I'm going to take him for a run right now. But um, I'm going to do a weekly vlog this week because I haven't been doing anything for the past month or so. I've just been flat out with uni work. Got a week off uni this week so I've come back down to my family farm. And uh, I'm going to do all things farm life for the next few days. Starting off with taking this big plonker for a walk. That's a camera, Toby. That's a camera. Alright, we better go for a run because this bloke is bloody ready to go. Look at him. Are you ready to go, Toby? Back from the run. Toby, how do you feel, mate? This is how you craft a fire. What are you doing, Toby? So if you're new to my channel and you haven't seen the farm before, this is the place that I grew up. And you got some chickens. Chickens! Lots of nature surrounding the property. It's very nice. My brother is actually building a house right there next to the house I grew up in. That's the bedroom where I grew up. And then one day, we're gonna have a big gym at the back there to make everyone fit and strong. Good to come down here after being in the hustle and bustle of Perth where I live and just zen, if you know what I'm saying. Especially when you've got this boy here. I mean, look at him. If he isn't the best dog you've ever seen, you're lying to yourself. Hey, Toby, let's light his fire. Good morning, Toby. Here we see a wild grizzly bear trying to fight me. Whoa! Go on in. Whoop, 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 whoop. Ah! <laughs> He's biting my ears off. You can dance. You can dance. in the time of your life. Oh. Boop. Right, yo lads, it's been a big day on the farm today, and I'm off to get my toenails scrubbed. I'm gonna go get a, a pedicure. And my toes just aren't getting the love they deserve, so I reckon I'm gonna go to a bloody one of those salons that girls go to to get their nails done and whatnot. And I'm gonna just let a lady have at my feet, get them clean and whatnot. It's a bit whack. But I'm all for it. I'm getting a haircut later with Cruel Deadly as well, so it's like a makeover day. This is gonna be weird, but let's see how we go. Uh oh. Finished now, my toes feel great. Ladies and gentle dogs, I don't want you to see the writing on this because it could expose me. But it is a flight itinerary. I have booked flight to Melbourne for June. Once my uni semester is done, I'm watching George Cambosis fight Devin Haney at Marvel Stadium. Big boxing fight going over there with my uncles, Cohen and Tynum. But I'm gonna be watching footy over there. I'm gonna go see Kados as well. Fingers crossed, it all goes ahead. Obviously nothing's confirmed in this current day and age, but exciting times ahead. I will be coming to Melbourne in June. Anyhow, now I'm off to get a haircut because that is just a bunch of, it looks like a bloody beehive or a bird's nest or something that doesn't look very good. So I'm gonna go sort out my trim. Doctor Uncle snip me up. Doctor Uncle snip me up. Hey, uh, yeah, I'm getting a hair cut because my hair is very long and I need it cut back before I turn into a sheep. Very long. You got any of those uh, manscaped shavers in here? Because if you use code TRUCY20, all caps, no space, you can get 20% off and free worldwide shipping at manscaped.com. Anyone got any jokes?
face come here, mate. I'll see you soon. Yeah, see you around, bro, man. Yeah, cheers, bro. Yeah, keep cool, yeah. We're back up in the Perth house now, and I'm about to call Blue Abroad. Never spoke to him before, but obviously the Dockers are playing Carlton on Saturday night, and I will be going to that, and there will be a vlog out specific to that. It will probably already be out by now. Quick little preview with Terry from Blue Abroad. Let's just get into it. And we're all done. I was meant to record me speaking to the bloke, but I didn't. But yeah, first time ever speaking to big Terry. And he's a great bloke. Very smart geezer. Now I've got to do some more uni work. Alright lads, now that I've been doing uni work for the last three hours and really enjoyed it, really great, really productive and worth my time, I'm going to go to the gym because you've got to mix it up. You can't do the same thing for so long and otherwise it'll drive you mental. I think I'm going to go do chest today. I'm trying to get them juicy pectoral muscles. So that is what we are going to do. Got a nice little chest pump. How am I looking? How am I looking all right? I'm gonna go for a sauna. Sauna done. What's the best thing to do after a sauna? Cold shower. Hey yo, it's Friday, and I'm gonna go see good friend Gabby. Haven't seen her in a while after the AFLW season has wrapped up. So we're gonna go for a little coffee and a breakfast. Should be nice. She tell me that I get her high, cause I ain't just supposed to fly. I ain't asking why no more. Gabby, Gabby, Gabby. Gabby Sam. Oh, probably not as many as I should have. A few, but not, not that many more training, I reckon. Keen for the next season. Are you gonna win the flag? Yep, I'm saying right now, flag mantle. Um, <laughs> Can I get you fit and strong? Yep, absolutely. Once I'm all ready to go, I reckon we do it. We'll what, do it. What'd you do to your ankle? A uh, couple of ligaments, classic basketball injury, but um, back up and running. No more cankle anymore, so we're all good. What, six times seven? 42, is it? Yes, it is. <laughs> good. Yes, I'm so bad at this one. Alrighty, finished up there. Always great to see Gabby. And she paid for my breakfast, so that just makes me feel like an absolute plonker. It is currently about five o'clock, Friday night. Football's about to be on. I think the best thing you can do for yourself if you're struggling to sleep, go for a walk when the sun's setting. For millions of years, humans went to sleep when the after the sun set. Literally, they'd go to sleep once the sun went down and they'd wake up when the sun comes up. So if you can go for a walk so that your brain subconsciously knows that the sun's gone down, you'll be ready for sleep. As you can see, the sun is currently on its way down, so I'm gonna go trick my brain that it, it's night time. So that tonight, when I'm ready to go to sleep, I can get to sleep. Easy peasy, honky dories. So I'm gonna go get my joggers on, and we're gonna go for a little walk ski. Right, shoes are on. Put on my crew neck, because it's a little bit chilly outside, but it's not chilly enough to wear a hoodie. And because I'm super famous, and I have paparazzi following me everywhere, you can't forget the sunnies. Now we're ready to go. You just know these bastards will be here around September trying to come for my head, but at the moment they're not. Be without fear in the face of your enemies. Be brave and upright that God may love thee. Speak the truth even if it leads to your death. Safeguard the helpless and do no wrong. This is your oath. And plonkers, that is gonna end this weekly vlog, but now I've just got to crack in for the next month, really, with uni. If you've made it this far into the vlog, you are the true plonkers. Comment down below, true plonker, if you've made it this far. I'm loving making YouTube videos at the moment. The momentum's going really well. The views are good, the subs are good, the channel's growing, so I appreciate it greatly. If you enjoyed this sort of content, let me know in the comments down below. I appreciate you all, and I'll see you next time. Take care, you plonkers.